The Gol Fort is a 16th century Portuguese colonial era defensive trading fort situated on the very southern tip of Sri Lanka. Designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site, it is a 90 minute journey by car or 3 hours by train from the capital of Colombo. Across the bay to the east can be seen the natural harbor of the Gol Port. Used since time immemorial as a trading post, it is today recognized as one of the world's best attractions for yachting. Even before the Portuguese landed, Ibn Battuta had passed through Gaul. Between the period of the 13th and 17th centuries, Gaul was renowned as a port city. In 1505, it was the Gaul harbor where the Portuguese under the leadership of Lorenzo de Almeida made their first landing. The fort was originally conceived and built by the Portuguese in 1588. The defensive walls of the fort had humble beginnings with its outline initially consisting of a simple earthen structure ringed by a wooden palisade they used the symbol of a rooster on a rock as the official symbol of gaul the portuguese were superseded by the dutch in 1640 the dutch were instrumental in fortifying and improving the structure using coral stone and granite to bring it to the scale of the formidable fortification we see today. They proceeded to encircle the entire peninsula with stone ramparts and included 14 defensive bastions at strategic points. The fort also consisted of public administration buildings, warehouses, business houses and residential quarters. The fort by now was an important trading post via the auspices of the Dutch East India Company with the country's spices of cinnamon and pepper going through here. The fort gradually grew into what it is today, essentially a walled city of approximately 52 hectares. The streets within are laid out in a grid pattern. with the road skirting its perimeter within the ramparts many of the smaller streets are brick paved or cobbled during the dutch period cannons were mounted as defenses on the ramparts while there are none to be seen today the magazine store which houses the ammunition and gunpowder is preserved a dutch emblem on the doorway alludes to the period of construction dutch control of the fort and eventually the country ended in 1802 when they ceded power to the british who continued to improve the fort structurally while adding their own architectural flourishes to the buildings this continued throughout the 1800s the lighthouse of the gaul heritage fort is known as point de gaul and was built by the British in 1848. It is Sri Lanka's oldest light station. The newer lighthouse was built in 1938, 100 meters from the original location. It is the most prominent and distinguishing site of the heritage fort towards the south. Tourists tend to congregate in the evenings on the ramparts of the south side. to enter the walks and ambiance of the views from the bastions the prominent and distinctive clock tower at the center of the fort gives the heritage fort its unique identity it's located overlooking the central moon bastion and is a part of creating an impressive facade for the fort entrance The clock tower was constructed in 1883 and paid for through public subscriptions by the people of Gaul. 
There are two main entrances that lead into the fort. The current main entrance was built by the British and goes through the fortification between the sun and the moon bastions. The archway built into the rampart walls on the east side has the bas reliefs of the coat of arms of the Dutch East India Company with its Dutch abbreviation VOC on the inner wall. The opposite side of the same entrance has the British coat of arms with its rampant lion and unicorn emblem adorning it. This was the original entrance till the British created the center access point. The cultural impact of these two consecutive colonial periods combined over time produced a unique socio-cultural and architectural fusion reflected in a blend of verandas, gables, terracotta tile roofs, stone fortifications and European style cobble roads. This combined with a variety of native influences and native flora imbued the fort with a charming east-west medley seldom found in other places. Today the fort and the township within have become a tourist hotspot though despite this it retains the charm of a well-kept secret. The vibe of this multicultural potpourri of residents, upscale shops, restaurants and accommodations are not found elsewhere. To cater to this influx of tourists, the town within the fort has a range of accommodation options from hostels to boutique hotels. Most of these heritage properties have been conserved and restored with great care and creates a unique atmosphere within the city. The Gaul Heritage Fort is also the venue for some popular activities and events. Firstly, the approach to the fort is fronted by possibly the most picturesque international cricket test venues, the Gaul International Stadium. This results in many an international game of cricket in Sri Lanka being played under the shadows of the ramparts. Another event is the Gaul Literary Festival. The Gaul Literary Festival is a week-long celebration of various events, from book launches to presentations, and is a space for writers and readers to meet. It is one of the most anticipated literary events in South Asia. The old Dutch hospital has also been restored and converted into trendy restaurants and a shopping center. Today it continues its new incarnation to offer treatment, albeit one in the form of retail therapy. Perhaps not altogether a great departure from its original purpose. The square in front of the Dutch hospital is the venue for the weekly good market an eclectic mix of art, sculpture and healthy local food. Another unique factor of the Gaul Heritage Fort is that its mere 50 plus hectare space has two churches, one Buddhist temple and a mosque of particular architectural and historic significance and considered a must-see by visitors is the old Dutch Reformed Church built in a Baroque style in 1755. The church has gables on the east and west sides but doesn't have a tower. Around the church is a small graveyard. The church was repaired and rededicated in August 2004. The decision to build the Anglican All Saints Church within the heritage fort was made by the first Bishop of Colombo, Right Reverend James Chapman. The church was built to a basilican plan and has a Victorian Gothic revival style of architecture. Beautiful stone columns, archers and pews made from Burmese teak all make it a magnificent edifice to visit.
Adjoining the lighthouse and overlooking the sea is the Mira Mosque. The mosque dates from 1904 and was built in the style of a Portuguese Baroque cathedral. The current population of Moors in the country are mostly descendants of Arab traders who came to southern ports like Beruela and Gaul. The Gaul Fort Library bears the distinction of being the oldest library in Sri Lanka. This small building is located at Church Street. The National Maritime Archaeology Museum is housed in a 17th century Dutch warehouse and adjoining the old entrance of the fort. It contains some maritime artifacts and gives a historical perspective into local fishing techniques as well as types of marine craft used by traditional fishermen. This is in addition to its exhibits of maritime trade and seafaring and is also well worth a visit. The National Museum at Gaul is located at the beginning of Church Street and has an eclectic collection of artifacts on display, starting from early Chinese influencers and travelers such as the monk Fahian, to traditional crafts and implements. A replica of the trilingual inscription, a stone tablet installed in Gaul in 1411 by the Chinese Admiral Zheng, provides evidence of religious and trade relationships between the two countries going back several centuries. Today the fort, in addition to being a tourist hotspot, provides a various portfolio of backgrounds, textures, props and buildings which are sought after by photographers. A common sight throughout the entire day is to encounter newly wedded couples being posed by their photographers and entourage. The Gaul Fort and its city within is a unique urban ensemble with a fusion of European architecture and Asian themes and is a definite stop for any visitor traveling through the southern region. Being one of the most southernmost points in the country, Gaul provides some uninterrupted views of the ocean on the western side and is a great location to catch some of the most spectacular sunsets with a foreground frame of the ramparts and fort facade. 